In order to understand ECG, it is important to understand the conduction system of heart, which begins from sinoatrial node, which is a pacemaker, which fires signal to atrioventricular node, then bundle of his right and left bundle branches, Purkinje fibers, so that heart can contract. When there is a stimulus, it is called depolarization, and when there is relaxation, it is called repolarization. And we can see all this in the form of waveforms. The first waveform on the ECG is P wave. It is a small deflation of ECG and it is called atrial depolarization. The signal comes from sinoatrial node to the atria, makes the atria to contract. After P wave, there is QRS complex. It represents ventricular depolarization. Then T wave, it represents ventricular repolarization. This is when electricity is reversing and ventricles are getting the chance to relax. We cannot see atrial repolarization because it is hidden somewhere where the QRS is. There are two intervals. PR interval is the time from the beginning of P wave into the beginning of QRS complex. It should be less than 0.02 seconds and less than 5 small squares. QD interval is the time from the start of Q wave to the end of T wave and approximate to the time taking from when ventricles start to contract and when they finish relaxing. It should be 0.3 to 0.4 seconds. ST segment is the line between S wave and T wave. It represents the isoelectric period when ventricles are in between depolarization and repolarization. If it is elevated, it could signify infarction. Normal 12 lead ECG is taken by four limb electrodes and six chest electrodes, and each lead gives a slight different view of the heart. Lead 1 AVL V5 V6 look at the lateral part of the heart. Lead 2 3 AVF uh, shows the inferior part of the heart. Lead V4 to V5 give a septum and anterior view. ECG has large and small boxes. The horizontal axis of large box is 0 0.2 second. The vertical part is 0 0.5 millivolts. For a small box, the horizontal plane is 0.04 second and the vertical is 0.1 millivolt. Normal rate is 50 to 100 beats per minute. The rate can be counted by square counting method, which is by counting the number of big boxes between the R waves using the following sequence of number. If there is one box, it is 300 beats per minute. Two boxes, 150 beats per minute. Three boxes, 100. Four boxes, 75. Five boxes, 60. Six boxes, 50 beats per minute. If the rhythm is irregular, then there is a formula, which is 6 into number of RR intervals in 10 seconds, because a standard ECG is 10 seconds. So when we count the number of RR intervals in one 10 second strips, we can multiply it with 6 and we can get the rate for irregular rhythm. Regular rhythm means RR interval are the same across the tracing. Irregular rhythm means RR interval varies across the tracing. It could be regularly irregular, which is repeating pattern of varying RR interval, which we can see in atrial fluter. It can be irregularly irregular, meaning RR intervals varies erratically, which we can see in atrial fibrillation. The electrical axis of heart is in a direction in which the waves of depolarization travels. Normally this begins at the sinoatrial node. From here the wave of depolarization travels down to the apex of heart. Axis indicates the direction of mean vector can be determined from any waveform P, QRS or T waves. The standard ECG reported QRS axis usually refers to the mean axis of frontal plane. It indicates the mean direction of ventricular depolarization forces. Normal axis is between minus 30 to 90 degree. 
and QRS complex is positive in need 1 and need 2 both. Right axis deviation, the axis is more than 90 degree and QRS complex is positive in need 2 but not in need 1. In left axis deviation, the axis is less than minus 30 degree and QRS complex is positive in need 1 and negative in need 2. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe or comment.